Have you ever wondered if it was possible to remotely recover a system from ransomware? In this video, we will demonstrate how NewShield Data Sentinel can help you recover a remote system from ransomware. For this demonstration, we have a shortcut on the desktop to the WannaCry ransomware. We'll start out on the victim's computer by manually running the WannaCry 2 ransomware. This is a modified version of WannaCry 2 that can bypass antivirus products. You'll notice that WannaCry encrypts the documents, pictures, and other data files almost immediately. For this demo, we're using a live ransomware sample. However, if you want to test the product and do not have actual ransomware, you can use an encryption testing tool we created for this purpose called New Encrypt. I'll put a link to the testing tool in the video description below. Once enough files have been encrypted, WannaCry modifies the background and pops up a window that says, Oops, your files have been encrypted. Depending on how many files you have, it can take a while for the files to be encrypted. Since this computer has NewShield installed on it, we can switch over to the NewShield portal to remotely recover it. We'll start out by logging on to the NewShield portal. This opens us to a list of protected devices. Our infected device is on the second page. Clicking the Device Details button shows us information about the computer's hardware, software, network, security, and activity. The Device Details page also gives us recovery options. To start the recovery, we click the Restore Revert button. There are two recovery modes available, one-click Restore, and revert files. Let's start out using the one-click restore feature. Once we have chosen one-click restore, we need to select which restore point to use. NewShield creates one snapshot every day. This device only has one restore point because the product was recently installed and it has not had time to create more snapshots. On a typical computer, you will see around seven to 10 snapshots. Finally, we will prevent the user from canceling the restore by selecting the Force Restore option. We can type a short message to the user and then start the restore by clicking Restore and then Confirm. At this point, we can see the status of the restore. The command was sent to the client. The client received the command and is waiting for the user confirmation. Now let's switch over to the victim desktop. We can see that on the client, NewShield has popped up the one-click restore confirmation box. The recovery will start once the user closes this window or the countdown completes. Switching back to the NewShield portal, we can see that the status shows that the restore process started on the client. It took around 57 seconds for the recovery to start. Now switching back to the victim desktop, we can see that the user is about to be signed off. A reboot is required since we are recovering the operating system. The one-click restore feature allows us to quickly revert the entire operating system to a previous known healthy state. The process will remove WannaCry and put the computer back to the way it was before the ransomware was introduced. This process typically takes around 15 to 20 minutes, so we skipped ahead in the video. For this demo, one-click restore took 11 minutes. Once we're back in Windows, we can see that the restore was successful. Now let's recover the data files. One-click restore does not affect the user's data, so you can use it to recover your operating system without worrying about losing any important data. However, since WannaCry encrypted the user's data, we want to recover them, so let's switch back to the new Shield portal to remotely recover the user's data files. To start the recovery, we once again click the Restore Revert button. This time we will choose the Revert Files option. Next, we can choose which folders to revert. In this case, we choose the Documents and Pictures folders. Finally, we will select Force Restore. 
type the new message for the user, click Restore, then Confirm to start the revert. Again, this shows us the status of the revert command. Now let's switch over to the victim's desktop. On the client, we can see the remote revert confirmation box. Once it closes, the recovery happens immediately. Unlike the one-click restore, the file revert happens instantly. All the data in these folders have been recovered. Switching back to the new shield portal, we can see that it took around 1 minute and 12 seconds for the recovery. Thanks for watching this video. You can check out New Shield Data Sentinel at www.newshield.com.